Is he a full character in the show? Alright, now we're good. I fucking hate Jiren. Oh, really? He's cool in the way that like, he's like super strong, but he's like way too fucking strong. Like Goku and Vegeta fight him and they're blue hair. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they can't even fucking touch him. Really? Sweet, thanks. We're good? Yeah. Alright. Do you want to listen to you? Ooh. Yeah, I'll listen. These are pretty cool. So this is the hair. I'm going to give you some faces. This is the demoniacal? Yeah. See, they don't have sculpted detail to hair. It doesn't look bad, though. No, especially on, like, the detail with the lighting. Mm -hmm. It, like, kind of glows. But you can have these two faces. Oh, I'm going to buy that set. I'm going to buy this set. So I don't need the faces right now. Okay. I appreciate it, though, but... I, I saw the set today and I was like, oh, it's cool, it's like 30 bucks for both of them. Yeah, but there's the sculpted hair. Sweet. Dude, this looks cool. All right. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> I, was like, I said thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jesse, I miss you, man. I know. I've been listening to the episodes and I'm just like, nothing. Wow. I just saw this. Is this for me? No, it's for me. Oh, not just kidding. I never played it. That's awesome. I texted Dean and I was like, is this the one that Dean likes? Because there's like the remake and then there's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, I know like eight a lot. Seven's my favorite, dude. Alright, put that one somewhere. There's a lot of debate on what this is supposed to be. It's a sword. No, this. It's one of those guns from uh, it's the gun. alien. It's not a gun. It is a gun. It's part of the debate. <laughs> I'll explain that later. Wait, so you know what it is, even though there's a lot of debate? I think I know what it is, but... Oh! Oh, he made you one, too! <laughs> Where have you been? Huh? Have you not seen the chat? Why are you so hateful? Whoa! That's literally never happened. Excuse me. They were not meant to do that. <laughs> do you think this joint can come out of this head? Like, if you heat it up? Probably. I don't see why it wouldn't. It should just be a try it. Peg. I'm gonna try it. Oh yes. All right. Dude, you guys ready to get started? Dang, all back together. I know the uh, the three musketeers. I mean, they missed the yeah. You know. Well, it's four of us. My eyes. Joke. Well, we got stream going. We have one, two people watching. Two. Uh, you want to keep an eye on the comments? Yep. Who said what's up, guys? Fernando. What up, Big Burn? Burn Burn. What up, Big Burn? What up, Big Burn? It's a sweet big worm. Right. Hey, Jess, can Dean wear that for the show? Fit me. <laughs> Probably not. Can you wear it for the show? That would be no. the worst. I don't want to ruin it. Are you all ruining it? I'm right? assuming it's a lot of work getting on. Yeah, it is. Do you have to wear a lot of like powder? Powder and then a skull cap and then if you don't take it off right, you might rip it from the... Sure. So it's kind of... So we can't wear it is what you're saying? I mean, we can. I just I don't, I don't mess with it. Okay, you ready? Three... Two. Actually, should we play the intro for live stream? No? No. Okay. Alright. Three. Two. God, it's hot in here. Well, I turned the AC off because in our last recording, you could hear, you could hear the... Uh, so we have to sweat. heat stroke in here. I just got back it's from like the gym. It's like a sauna over here. It is not that hot. Right. Open, the, open the freezer. Well, once we start talking, let all the heat out of our bodies. If we start laughing again. Yeah. Alright, three. We laugh all the time. Two. Hey guys, my name is Zach. I'm Dean. I'm Manny. And I'm Jesse. Welcome to this week's episode of Collecting Weekly. This is the weekly podcast where my friends and I talk about the things that matter the most to us this week in collecting. That is true. The Four Musketeers are back. Uh, Jesse, hey, we don't have Jesse. 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 <laughs> Jesse? Manny, we need a Jesse from you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, the, the Mutopia. The my, my, Mutopia. My chocolate milk. Uh, Jesse? Yes. <laughs> Jesse is back on the show. Uh, episode 45, Dawn of Jesse. And uh, it's good to have you back. I know we've been on stream the last few weeks, and uh, unfortunately, you don't have the best streaming environment. No. <laughs> uh, so it's good. And none of that, but it's good to be back in person. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. And, I, and because it's been so long, I had some gifts for each of you. Uh, so Ooh. Jesse has a uh, Mandalorian uh, print. Oh, we'll see there badass. for the. Um, 
Oh, for the people watching the video podcast, it's one of those mini posters. Does that mean you're doing one to one Mandalorian stuff? Yeah, it's yeah. already being sent. We'll, oh, we'll talk gosh. about it. <laughs> uh, Manny has a H one. Uh, the night he came yes, home, sir. print, and then yes, uh, for Dean, I I actually had to edit that because it's all the PS two discs that yeah. are square. I had to edit PS1. out the Square Enix or you know Square Enix and yeah. the the other logo, oh, uh, and it's Final Fantasy seven. So uh, it was like this when I got here, so I like, didn't see it. Oh yeah, and then yeah, that's amazing. Enough about that, Dean. Uh, all the best shows have one thing in common. New this week. Oh, then you know oh, that cool was... intro from last week. You were like, <laughs> the best, like you had some <laughs> swagger last the week. The best segment. Okay, ever. so let's redo that. Okay. Uh, Dean, that was weaker than your knees, bro. Come on. <laughs> that was really weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about <laughs> anything new we got this week on our favorite segment. New, new this week. week. That was that probably was the best one. one. That was the best one that we ever All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, my, my so let's see. Right. What did we get new this week? Um, I paid off Obi Wan. He, I got the email saying he's available for pre. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, just for delivery, like a control early, 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 imminent arrival. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I could still wait two months or just pay it. Yeah. So I paid it, and he, the lady said he'll be here. She said my earliest Thursday, so two days from now, because they're in California. Oh, so she's like, it doesn't take that long. I, um, I would wager you're probably going to get a Friday or Monday. Yeah, Friday or Saturday. Next week we're going to have... Well, UPS doesn't deliver on Saturday. We're going to have a story of oh. Dean chasing down the... Just family. remember, you have to have a signature. Someone has to sign for it. UPS or USPS? UPS. UPS. Oh. So what I do, this is what I do. Uh, since, you know, I'm at work 8 to 5, I have it delivered to the U- UPS store. And I just yeah, you pick it up. up. And they, they, oh. They're open late. Can I do that on our website? Yeah, yeah so you have to app. sign up for... That's uh, what I do. I know the guy. It's he's like, like, oh, my toys. It's called My UPS. Uh, this is a good tip for you guys that order Sideshow and then have circumstances like Manny, but sign up on My UPS, and if you do it, like, as soon as it ships, it doesn't change. It usually doesn't change the delivery date, but obviously if you wait till the night before, then it's going to delay the day. Um, yeah. But it's really great because the UPS stores are open on Saturday. You just bring your photo ID, and they have you sign it, and uh, you're good to go. I have a paper ID. Oh, that sucks. You do have paper. I'll probably just have to wait at my house until it gets there. Chase the moment. <laughs> yeah, like, chase As the per moment. usual. Um, but you had a pretty interesting situation regarding this Obi-Wan because um, you had to have some help from Sideshow. Okay, right? yeah. So, huge shout out to Sideshow. Sideshow! Sideshow! Sideshow is on customer <laughs> service. Let me some sweats. So, I started a new job recently. And thank you. Congratulations. New this week. Yeah, new right. New, well, it's been about a month, but um, they messed up on my pay. So they're like, oh, well, you're just going to have to wait until the 1st. I was like, I can't wait until June 1st to get paid. Like, Yeah, because you like, told me that. And I was like, Dean, your stepdad is built this company from the ground up. Like, You go bring dragon fire on accounting. That's <laughs> exactly what I did. I was like, you know what? He's right. So... They were like, okay, we're going to make an exception. We'll mail you the check. And I was like, okay, fine. So I, had, I still had to wait like a week. Uh-huh. So um, they're like, we're going to FedEx you your check, and it'll get there on Monday, yesterday. Yeah. Well, sure enough, Saturday I got the email. Your Obi-Wan is available for uh, imminent arrival. You could either pay it. Or just wait until mm-hmm. the regular release date. So I was like, oh, I don't have money. Like, of course. And, like, the day they were going to charge the card is, like, when I was going to get paid. So I just canceled it. And I was like, oh, I could just go back and, like. You didn't cancel the order. Or I didn't cancel the order, but you, I you pushed, back, pushed it back. Yeah. Pushed back the payment. Yeah, and, the postpone. Yeah, and um, I thought I could just go back in there and redo it once I got paid because I was like my luck the check's not going to get there until like 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. then I got to wait Tuesday morning to deposit it then I'll be able to pay and I was like I'm afraid they're going to charge like first thing in the morning on Tuesday yeah so I I took mm-hmm. off the pay immediately do you not have um like uh what is it called uh like where you go negative but like they don't charge you oh, until like the next business yeah Yes and no, they do that, but then they charge you like thirty bucks. It's yeah. like the next business day, so 
even if it charged that Tuesday morning, if you had the money the same day, you know, just for... I was just like, right? worst case scenario, I'm like thinking like the worst, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I messaged Zach, I was like, hey, like, I got my money, like, how do I fix that? He's like, oh, they don't do that. You have to call. Yeah, no, I, I didn't say they couldn't do it. I said that you couldn't do it on the website. Right. Because, like, when you do that, um, you get pushed to the end of the queue. Right. And I was like, you know, Dean, your circumstance was uh, special in the sense, like, you know, you have like a new job, like this and that. And uh, I was like, give him a call. Like, you know, I wouldn't do it over the chat because over the call you can kind of beg, I guess, grovel. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think they were able to. Yeah, so I called at uh, noon. Mm -hmm. I only waited maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Which isn't ideal, but they're a big company. I'm sure they have people calling all the time. Yeah. And um, the girl answered. She's like, hey, like, how can I help you? I, like, I have a question on my order. I gave her my order number. And I was like, this is my first order, so I didn't know what that meant when first, I postponed first it. First order. I was, like, there you go. <laughs> I was like, is there any way I can pay for it now and get it this week instead of... I was like, I'm an idiot. And she's like, oh, yeah, sure. She charged my PayPal, and that's on its way, so... Need him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side trail. Also new this week for me is the De Demoniacal Fit um, Vegeta and... Goku, Super, Super Saiyan Blue, Blue. Uh, head and hair sculpts. Uh huh. They're amazing. Uh, they some, look fantastic. Somebody had them before. I got them used. Uh huh. So the the pegs are pretty easy to get in there. Usually you have to like either go in there and open them up a little bit or just heat them up. Uh huh. But uh, I guess he had already done that, so they fit perfectly. They're this is your well. first demoniacal ever, like yeah. anything. Yeah. I like them. They uh, they make a lot of really good third party stuff. Actually, I was I, I like them on Facebook. I literally just like like them on Facebook right now, and they teased they're making a uh, articulated uh, figure arts ghost for Go Tanks. Oh, nice. With uh, swappable faces and hands. Oh, that's cool. You know, because like in the show they do kind of all this goofy stuff. So that's that's really cool. Um, yeah, they're making whole figures now. They have yeah, Ginyu, they have Ginyu, uh, Jace. Just announced Jace. Uh, it's released, and they have the Scarlet Warrior, which is Kaoken Goku. Yeah. You also got, uh, on my recommendation, a cool figure. I did. Which, uh, Saiyaman. Oh my god, yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, and that was kind of an interesting situation. This guy... What a nightmare. One of his <laughs> it turned group, out to be a pain in the butt. This, what really was it? This guy in one of our groups said he was us. in a bad spot, and uh, he needed money quick. And, uh... He posted a bunch of figures for sale, uh, one of which was Majin Vegeta, which is a figure that I wanted, and, and one of which uh, was... His price went up crazy. Yeah, he's about $100 now, and he was asking 50 and then he was also asking 50 for Great Saiyan Man. Yeah. And you wouldn't have any money. I was like, you know, I'll loan you the 50 if you can pick it up. And literally the guy was like next door to you. Yeah, you were like, how close is this? I was like, literally around Like the, the next complex over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. And so uh, that worked out really well. I know there was uh, some people that might not have been super happy with this guy. Uh, yeah. But I, we he, won't mention it. But He posted a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And he had even more. So when I went to go pick these up, he was like, look at all this other stuff I have for sale. And I was like, oh, I'm not interested in this stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when he was selling other stuff, I'm assuming he did the same thing. Mm -hmm. And those people wiped him out. Yeah. So when other people showed up to pick up their stuff, it was gone. Yeah. And Zach and I had to play um, PC police and kind of keep the peace. And yeah, we're admins in a lot of different groups, so yeah. that was kind of awkward. Yeah. Um, how do you like uh, Great Salmon? Great Salmon is awesome. Dude. Was I overzealous? I had salmon last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Great Salmon? <laughs> was I overzealous in my uh, critique saying that it is potential six-inch scale figure of the year? Uh, no. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, three head sculpts, a uh, bunch of hands for all his different poses. Different arm for when he loses the watch. Yeah. There's a little pluggy bit in the it's back for really the cake cool. when you take it out. Yeah, it's, it's <coughs> up there. It's yeah. fantastic. I'm really glad I got it. So thank you for helping me. No problem. I have you. no idea what any of this stuff is. Uh, Manny, <laughs> what did you get this week? Uh, my dear friend here got me the uh, Commander Cody Funko Pop. Yeah. Uh, I also... It's been a kind of it's been kind of a slow week, but I also got the '89 Batmobile. The um, uh, what is it? UCS, I guess. Is oh, right there? there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate yeah. uh, Collector Series. Yeah, I got the piece from France. So uh, yeah, wee it's, wee to all of our French wee listeners. Wee 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 wee. Speaking of wee wee, I'll be right back. I need to go. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it for me. Uh, tomorrow something is uh, taking off.
Oh, that's that's his. That's yeah. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. I got Lutopia. Uh, I already <laughs> finished it. <laughs> what about you, Jesse? Shout out. So the Mandalorian helmet is shipping this week, so yeah, I should be yeah. getting nice. that and sanding it and making it look like this. Jesus. So tell that's us cool. the story. Uh, who you're getting it from? Uh, Tim Manufacturing. So he, I messaged him and I was like, "Hey man, can you make me this?" And he was like, "Absolutely, sure." But this is the last thing I'm making that's not Iron Man. And I was like, no. Any particular reason why? Just I don't know. I guess, I guess things, yeah, they don't sell. Everything he does is Iron Man. Well, he's done some Black Panther stuff before, but I guess just Iron Man sells like crazy. And he has molds for it. So why make a new mold and print? And, mm -hmm. Oh, no. But I feel like for us, he'll, he'll do it. But I don't know. Yeah. I have a message for anything else for lately, but I bet he, he might say yes to me. Do you know how long that print time was? Well, it's I... significant. Yeah, t I think over 200 hours. Jeez. And I have pictures and they're crispy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm excited. Uh, is that what you got? That's it. I mean, it's been a slow week. Really it's slow. been... It's been a week for me. It's um, been. It's <laughs> been. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I, I really get into getting into figure arts, and uh, you have a busy week. I I I'll start with what Dean gave me right now. Uh, he gave me my I had sold this figure to him, but it's a Ko SSJ three figure arts Goku. And that's not the only thing. And uh, Ko, it's, it's pretty pretty solid quality. I know Dean's not a huge fan of the Super Saiyan three transformation. I I tend to like it a little bit. I love Super Saiyan three transformation. It's one of my favorite Transformers. <laughs> uh, I also got the, the uh, Post Malone Funko <laughs> right? Pop that Manny delivered oh, today. I'm so Love it! It's fantastic. If you find um, one, then... I got the Majin Vegeta, but I, I literally haven't opened it yet, so uh, I have nothing good or bad to say about it. Although I will say, Majin, maybe um, just a little bit. I'm kind of, I won't say regretting the purchase, but I'm like, man, the. I, I, I used to own the Vegeta 2.0 Super Saiyan, and that's a really solid figure. That's a fantastic figure. So I'm kind of like, that's what that is right there. Yeah, I'm kind of like, fuck, I should have bought that one instead. Um, yeah, I only got these because, again, they were second hands. I was, it came with that, so I was like, oh, I could give that to Zach. I know he likes to mess with his um, figures, customize them, so that'll be good. Um, but they're literally coming out with these later this year. The actual different. Super Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, but the Vegeta sold out. So you're talking about the Broly, really? No, no, no. These. Like, literally, as I'm holding it, the 2.0 Vegeta with the Super Saiyan blue hair. And with the Goku, too? Yeah, they're on pre-order. Where? Uh, Goku. <laughs> Goku's <laughs> pre-order is up right now, but Jesus hasn't popped up yet. Oh, that's probably what that is. Because the Goku's only like 35 bucks. Yeah, so the VG is Oh, really okay, that makes so much sense. I saw that one and I was like, I could have sworn the Broly movie Goku was a lot more expensive than 35 bucks. Well, they're Bro the Broly movie only has two figures. The, the Gogeta and the Broly. No, and it has, the, a, it has, a the, Vegeta, it has the Vegeta. Vegeta, Gogeta, are those two different people? Legit question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so Vegeta, okay, Goku and Vegeta can combine... And become either Vegeta or Gogeta, depending on how they combine. They can either do a dance or wear the earrings. See, look, this is the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan we're Vegeta losing, from we're Broly. Losing listeners by the second oh. here, guys. Burn said he'll sell you that the Spider Man Dean if you still That's want that. It is for a good deal. The pre order is probably the Mesco Spider Man? Uh, no. So let's. Uh, I also got uh, Gotenks figure arts, which is a figure that we've talked about on the show many months ago. Dean was not a huge fan of it, he said there was some small issues. Um, this figure, I liked it a lot. On the shelf, it's fantastic. I liked it so much that I bought immediately bought a second one. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was really cool because I got this one that's on the table here from a guy named Steven who owns a store in San Antonio called Steven's Collectibles. Now, uh, what was really cool is he's in Universal City, which is quite a drive from here. Yeah. And um, he had told me that he could ship it or that he's starting a delivery service in this area. And so for three dollars, he um, delivered it to my house, which was really cool because it beat the Amazon. You know, Amazon was like two days, and it would have been there technically in three because it was the end of the day. Right. Uh, but he came by after the shop closed, dropped it off, and he was such a cool guy that we invited him and his wife with their uh, business partners. They're going to come on an episode of Collecting Weekly as a bonus episode. So in the first week of June, we'll have their episode up. Uh, they have a really cool store, really cool business model, and they carry a lot of really cool figures. So. Uh, really excited to have them on the podcast. I also got a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks statue, and I'm using the head for a custom, and Jesse was nice enough to lend me some two-part mold putty 
uh, to attach that to this uh, body. So I'm really excited for that to come in. Uh, so it's been a Dragon Ball Z week. I just I gotta figure out how to display them because I have that that shelf with all my anime stuff. But I feel like I want to have like a, a separate display for for yeah. the uh, yeah. <laughs> for the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Manny is distracted by something. What's going on? No, what's I think there's bread it? on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> is it peanut butter? No, it's a draft. It's a little draft one. Oh, it looks like peanut butter. It looks bread. like peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so that's that. So let's talk about a quick update here. Uh, uh, a few episodes ago, I think uh, the good, the bad, and the Brit. I was praising Reborn's Killer Queen Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, and yeah, let's everyone take a deep breath. That was praising. This figure has fallen three times this week. Literally, literally fallen, and um, the legs keep warping under the weight of the figure. Mine too. And it's it has Manny's weak knees, uh, and it's super frustrating. Um, with that being said, I've contacted BB, uh, BBTS and they're, BBC. they asked for a video. And I contacted Rebor as well because BBTS, they're just a distributor. They don't really know that much about the figure. Uh, at least the guy that I talked to didn't really know if it was a common thing. And Rebor, in their infinite knowledge, left me on red. Ooh. And it hurt my soul. Jesus. So I'm going to make this <clears throat> sound bite a separate Instagram post, but Rebor. Uh, I need to know what's going on with this because this figure's fallen, you know, every day, and it's not hot in my home during the day. We keep it like at seventy-eight, like that's a pretty moderate temperature for things to be warping that are, you know, plastic. We keep well, our our apartment um, at sixty-nine. I was gonna say if it's yeah, we have a smaller. If it's hot in there, like it's hot in here, it's definitely gonna warp. It's literally seventy-three degrees. <laughs> I'm here. sitting here, my ankles are starting to warp. <laughs> Bro, knees. I'll send you 50 bucks out of the AC. <laughs> Fine, just because you guys are crying about it, we'll turn the AC on right now. We're trying to have the best sound quality for our lovely listeners. But anyway, so, Rebor, uh, on a serious note, I need to, to see what's going on with this because this is really frustrating. And uh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Jon Snow has gone up for pre-order on uh, Big Bad Toy Store and Sideshow. Nice. Big Bad Toy Store has them for $179.99. Sideshow has them for 188. There was some uh, discussion, I should say, in some of these. Well, hold products. on, hold on. Did you just turn the AC on with your phone or something? Yeah, that's baller. Sorry. I can turn it on with the uh, Alexa too. That's, that's pretty cool. That was really. I cool. was just like, wait a minute. How do you do that? With <laughs> mine? Yeah, yeah so I have, I have an Eco I can I can set it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Iron Man. I can bro. I can set it even Neither from like. <laughs> I can set it even from uh, work or anything like that. Dude. At any rate, um, yeah. it is. It's a good price now. A lot of people said that, oh, well, Sideshow gives you rewards, or oh, I have a coupon. And that is true, but you have to consider that to, to use rewards, you have to spend another $200. And to have a coupon, you're very fortunate, because I would say more often than not, there's less people with a coupon than people that have one. Yeah. Um, so I would say that's a good argument. None of that, but BBTS for $4 double boxes all their stuff, so you know it has a better chance of arriving to you safely. And they ship FedEx, which is you know $4. really some four dollars flat rate shipping. Not mm -hmm. only that, but BBTS, you don't have an NRD, and you don't have to pay until it's it's in. Now, not every six scale or high end figure from BBTS is without an NRD. There's some that do, mm -hmm. uh, but this one in particular, I think it's a clear winner to have from BBTS. Maybe it's going to come a little later than Sideshow, but you know, saving uh, eight bucks off the bat and then four dollars shipping versus twenty. To 15, 15, 20 dollars yeah, shipping. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like that, but if since there's no NRD, if this figure is released less than advertised in terms of quality, you can always cancel without penalties. So that is my spiel. Um, do you guys want to talk about these? Uh, oh, figure of the price. I know we kind of mentioned it last yeah, week. Yeah, I'm kind of debating on if I want to get it. Because you have the 1.0 with the King of the North head sculpt already. Yeah, and this isn't really a spoiler for the show, but at the end of the show, it almost looks like he's back to the 1.0 look. Um, wow, spoilers, bro. Yeah, sorry, he lives. But, <laughs> but when he gets when he gets back to where he's going, he almost looks like he's back in that. Oh, really? Nice I I watch outfit. Again. So I'm kind of like, well, it is a really iconic outfit. So where he meets Daenerys, the Battle the of the Bastards. Of the Bastards. To me, that's the it's most such iconic. A cool. Yeah, it's pretty great. 
Um, so I'm still kind of debating. If I do get it, it'll probably, uh, I'll probably pre-order it with Rick, because he always gets the Game of Thrones. Yeah. So. I, I pre-ordered it. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I pre-ordered it from BBCast. God damn it. Um, God damn open it. Open up the, uh, your messages <laughs> that you just posted. I want to try something. Can you guys not be distracted right now? We're trying to do a show and you guys are over here digging out on Snapchat. Um, so. To the picture you sent. So, uh, NECA has uh, been in the news. Yeah, let's take a break while these guys are over here. Let's take a break, we'll grab them. I wanted to see the girl. Did you take a picture? No. What, what the hell? Let me take a picture. All right. God, you guys are the worst. You got to get the, the you deck that's there. You go. That's kind of attractive. Send me that. That's what I need to speak, mate. I'm going to send this. Oh, <laughs> <terrible people. Lord. laughs> Alright, well let's take a quick break because we're gonna sit down and get some money anyways. Oh, sure. She's in with the baby, she's gonna put me a baby ball real quick. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, but anyway, that hair fits the savior's on oh. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, oh okay, cool. Yeah. And then it should any Goku head should fit her face rather should fit. Her. Is that your phone? Sounds like it's gonna blow up. Yeah. Can you turn your your vibrating off? It no. keeps going off. And it's turn your vibrator off, bro. No. Oh no. Dude, didn't a famous wrestler just pass away? Some chick? Oh yeah. She was like from like the nineties. Nacho Libre is that guy passed away. The gold, the gold guy. The gold guy? Oh, oh man. He's from Sis. Yeah. Really. He had a heart attack in the ring. Oh, yeah. And the ref did nothing for like well, minutes. Did you give me a message about uh, Gohan? Yeah, I did. But I don't know where it's pre-ordered at. Because uh, it's, it's one of those event exclusives for like the world tour. Right. But I don't know how to do that. Dude, that video was so funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I shot this time earlier, but check this out. Did it, it's you at the gym? <laughs> oh, dude. I thought for a second it was going to break. I was like, I don't want to see that. Oh, dude, I wouldn't show you that. Chocolate milk. What's your best friend? All right, you guys good? Yeah. Three, two, and we are back. So uh, briefly on NECA, Mothra from the Godzilla uh, versus the Monsters film. Uh, Stephen's toy reviews on uh, YouTube broke this for me, but it's no longer coming with the larva. It was, it was supposed with, to. It was supposed to, oh. and then uh, apparently NECA didn't get license or approval by the deadline that they needed, so Ooh. they are axing that from the set. It's a great price for, for Mothra regardless, and you get like a little diorama display, but kind of disappointing. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, and it comes up next week, so if the, the larva plays a big role, it's going to be kind of annoying. Um, that was a weird thing to have. Well, I, I like, haven't seen it. It comes out next week. Yeah, we know you haven't seen it. <laughs> well, a lot of people have seen it already. What? A lot of early showings have already happened. Like, it's, there's already people that are like giving their initial reviews. We're talking awesome. about Aladdin? That one comes out, right? Uh, next week. <laughs> this week, actually. What movie are we talking about? Godzilla. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. God damn it, man. You guys are too focused on Snatch Apple. <laughs> I wasn't me. Um, now, uh, bitching has worked, and uh, Captain America oh, has yeah. a new head sculpt. So, it, hashtag for Captain movement. Is it really a, a, a new, like, it seems like just a hair change. It looks like a new school. It looks like a whole new school. Yeah. yeah. That's what they said. That's attention. what they said. I like it. I, I'm, I'm Man, he was trying to fight me over this. Right? Was I? I was like, I just gave him a Oh, yeah. John <laughs> Tumbo. <laughs> yeah, he said it looks like... <laughs> it looks like a really young Dude, I made an edit, and I, ne I, d I didn't send it because I didn't want to stir the pot. Stir the pot? You called me a dumbass for the cheese. You already stirred While Manny's it. pulling that up, uh, Dean, you also want to talk about the Bandai Warhammer figures again? Yeah. That's a 
Warhammer uh, 40k, right? Yeah. Um, they've literally never steered away from tabletop, so no one's ever made their figures. Yeah. <laughs> that looks just like him. No. It does. <laughs> it, it, does. Does. it does. It doesn't. It's not like I'm not saying they look like twins, but they like it looks like kind of a young John Travolta, very handsome. Um, but yeah, no one's ever. They've never given anyone license to make their figures. Yeah, it's kind of shocking it's that Bandai. It's huge. Yeah, it's like whoa. Yeah. Um, so, so these are model kits, I think. Um, I don't From what I saw, they, they were they model are. kits. I was watching Foosh, and he loves model kits, and he did not mention it as a model kit. Really? Because the ones that I seen, they were they had the box, and the box looked like it was a model kit. Like you could assemble. It's Bandai, so it's either way. I mean, either way, it's fantastic. Yeah, and. They're articulated, which is cool, because, you know, the tabletop ones are like, yeah. tiny. I'm going to buy the fuck out of these and repaint them as I was, a that's, I sent it to you as soon as I found out, because I was like, dude, fucking Zach loves Warhammer. Yeah. You play, you're used to, anyway. Yeah. You used to play the fuck out of that game. Uh-huh. And uh, you used to take commissions, right, on painting armies for people? Yeah. 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 That's cool. And there uh, was a... I always wanted to get into that, and then I went to a tabletop store, and I was like, these motherfuckers are how much? <laughs> no. <laughs> speaking <laughs> like, speaking no, of uh, no. painting stuff... My wife is, uh, has a few projects she's going to work on this week. No uh, my Go Tanks. There you go. Uh, go Tanks does not come with a powered down head. And so right. we bought some paint to paint it as powered down. And then she's going to do Seth and uh, Sean's. This guy's all one. Uh, he's going to do their Ooh. shawl heads. Oh, nice. And he's over here with, uh, is it Jiren? Jiren. That's why he, this is the way he stands. Now, new releases, the no, Flash no, released in Hong Kong, uh, no, looking really good. Flash? Justice League Flash, okay. looking really good. Uh, it looks alright. It doesn't look bad. I mean, Someone I'm not going to collect the lion, but it looks... Was it Dylan? Someone said, like, oh, I bet this figure's going to be real cheap after a while. I don't but I was so. like... It looks really good. People I'm really not love the Justice League figures, and um, they're really only waiting on the Flash and the now Cyborg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like... This figure is either going to get really expensive, or once Cyborg releases, then, then it's it'll super get, expensive. Yeah, because they're like, oh, I passed on the Flash and now I need him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick him up because I wanted to do him and uh, Superman. You want to run, do him? Uh, like a running <laughs> pose and then like Flash like on the D top kind of like running sideways. Yeah, instead that'd be of cool. cool. Um, uh, the, yeah, I think if you're interested in getting that figure, I, would I think you should. Get really. I can't imagine this as something that was pre-ordered in high demand. Because everyone's holding out for Cyborg, and once it's released, I think you're right, this is going to skyrocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper was released as well. Yeah. Justin's Collectibles just uploaded a review. I haven't had a chance to watch you're it yet. You're going to get one, right? From um, oh, I, yeah, I remember know. Zach? Yeah, Zach, I, I don't want to hold it, too. I don't want to be like, yo. No, I mean, he's a man of his word. And it was like a wedding thing. True. Because that was the night we did our CW it, awards. It's, I didn't know it was out already. It's well, no, it's out in Hong Kong. But, yeah, so it's probably a few And it looks long. fantastic. Uh, Rogers uh, 9589, I think on Instagram, has it already. It the looks pictures fantastic. Were crispy. Really? Dude, it, dude. I, now, it won't match your Vader, but I know you're not like super anal about that, but it looks amazing. I will see if I had space in my collection for one. Well, I you have two Stormtroopers, right? Hmm. Oh, you already have those two Stormtroopers. You yeah, he has a New Hope Rogue One, and then you're going to return the Jedi. Yeah. Oh my god, that's, 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 a, that's a nice spread there. Um, Hello. The <laughs> Iron Man Mark 50 Ooh, and a Obi Wan shipping in the United States today and tomorrow. Bro, it's my first Iron Man figure. It oh is your first. God. Now, be very careful. Read the instructions. Oh, I'm not going to read the instructions. I'm just going to whip it out and, and start breaking it. it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The yeah. Nobi 2 that's style. That's what as soon as he gets home. <laughs> so no, nah, dude, I'm, dude, I'm, I, I'm so excited. Radius, yeah. 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 I'm so excited. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice... I got a $40 uh, discount, too, on that thing. Really? How? Oh, yes. Yeah. How? Um, so I show rewards? Yeah, okay, so check this out. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's kind of a discount. It sounds shady, now. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, Mervin's <laughs> in the chat. He says, you're dropping by for a bit. What's up, Mervin? I uh, approve it from Sideshow Bob. Mervin, Mervin, I was stalking your Instagram today. I like it. Uh, wait, isn't... Who's in... Is someone in Disney, right? What? One of the guys are in Disney? Someone who listens? Iron one of the listeners? No, one of our listeners is Disney. Yeah, yeah. Disney? What does that mean? Disney he's he's, he's at Disney, Disney World or Disneyland. I don't, know. I don't know. He's one of the Collecting Weekly. Shout out, bro, if you're listening to us. I don't remember who you are. But <laughs> okay. I, I, I saw remember him. your name. Yeah, shout. he's always like, yeah. I think it's Mervin. Isn't it Mervin? It's Mervin. I don't think so. Mervin, are you in Disneyland? I was just at his, on his Instagram. I didn't see or who's it. the dude that works uh, at that memorabilia store or whatever? 
and uh, North Star. Bro, we're getting so distracted. <laughs> right. Okay. So when I say I got a discount, it's kind of my money still, but I got a discount. I like to think of it as a discount. So when I first pre-ordered uh, my Mark 50, uh -huh. I lost my wallet. Um, so okay. when uh, it was time to pay for the first payment because I get the, oh, the yeah, flex pay. The car. Well, no, yeah, I had to cancel the card, so the payment declined, and, it, and I kept on getting a sideshow email saying, if you don't pay it by this, you're gonna lose your order. Yeah, my, card, your my card didn't come, so they canceled my order. So I was like, God damn it, I lost the $41, right? Uh -huh. So I called Sideshow, I called, yes, I had to call. I spoke it to some seems like hard. manly. Yeah. I'm calling you a lot. calling quite a bit. The, the, the so girl that helped me out today, I'd marry her back she Maybe was so she was the same girl, because she, she was, was really chill. Really really so, I will say they have, I know we're going to dog on them a little bit later in the show, but they have <laughs> fantastic customer service reps. Yeah, I will yeah. say that. Best right. in the biz. Yeah. Um, Unlike Rebor, who They're not that. so big that... I would say like they're small enough that if it's you call personal. ten times, you'll probably only get to like the same two or three people. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not like you call like a major corporation and you're every time you call it someone else. Like I recognize. When I called, it was a, it was a woman too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I got a guy one time. Uh, I don't remember his name obviously, but so I called Sideshow and I explained my situation because I had just gotten my card mm -hmm. and I was like. Uh, is there anything I can do? I lost my my NRD, but I really wasn't trying to, you know, not not yeah. pay. Yeah. Yeah. So she was like, "Let me see what I can do." She put me on hold for a little bit. The little Star Wars music came on. Yeah, it was nice. I was <laughs> on hold. Oh so yeah, hell yeah! I was all like John Williams there in the yeah, break room. I love that. Uh, she comes back, dude. Bless her heart. She's like, "Yeah, dude." Uh, she's like, "We'll go ahead and I'll I'll go ahead and uh, at the the missed NRD." Uh, to, to your new order. All you got to do is, is pre-order it. Email me once it's pre-ordered, then um, then we'll go ahead and add that NRD that you lost out on. So Oh, that's cool. Really cool. So yeah, I had a $41 discount. Obviously, I had to put another $41 to pre-order it, uh -huh. but that knocked down the price a little bit. And uh, So it didn't hurt as bad. Yeah, it was cool. It was like, you still paid, but it felt like it was... I thought I was going to lose that money. Right. Yeah. yeah. So shout out that chick. Um, yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm excited. I get we we get charged tomorrow. So <laughs> yep. I am uh, pretty sorry. excited about what's that. The, what's the time. what's the final price on that guy? Uh, four oh six, if I remember correctly. Oh, good luck. I think shipping, shipping is like, like twenty one bucks. bucks. Yeah. So not too bad. Um, let's have a discussion here. Um, We're on Sunday, well, it's a very special discussion. Oh. Uh, on Sunday was two months to the day on April 1st episode of Collecting Weekly reported oh, that, that Molecule 8 fired yes. the evolution and, and uh, May 19th Sunday was Officially. two months their Facebook is gone their Instagram is gone their website is gone All their any deposits money yeah your money is gone Great they took that shit to the bank um, so what have we learned from this can, can those people I mean, I mean, it's I imagine probably five hundred dollars ish for an order, but I, I mean, here in the United States, that's a felony. <laughs> if someone stole anything five hundred above, that's a felony. Well, no, the the uh, I know they're not. It's like two hundred bucks. Oh, I thought their figures were like five, and no. you have to pay up front. But even then, like enough people could be in on this, or it could maybe like a class, class action, action. Or, um, but you know, it's obviously significant that's what, fraud. That's what I was gonna say, you're, um, you're, you're gonna spend thousands getting back $200. Yeah, so it's kind of like they're in a, the people that own Molecule are in a good position, because again, it's like you said, the work to recoup what you got is going to cost more than what you lost. Um, I will say that, you know, when these companies come in and promise, that are new, especially promise the world, you have to really take it with a grain of salt. Promise the fucking uh, they promised to re to revolutionize the hobby, and I guess in uh, a very negative way they have. Um, <laughs> lots of lots of sculptors uh, lost out. Uh, K. Kim in particular. Um, the there was some really weird licenses that they had. Some really weird promises that they made. Um, I think this really tarnishes um, a lot of you know like John Lennon's estate particularly. Like they signed out on this and they were. They were used to market this, his official page. Um, so I, I will, I, I will say I'm not shocked because 
you know, in the first iterations of Collecting Weekly years ago, we called this happening. Um, you specifically, but yeah. Yeah. I, it's sad we knew it was going to happen, but I just wish that people that we know didn't lose money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah obviously, some people may have gotten their figure, yeah. which is great that if you ordered, you got a figure, but for me personally, I was really looking forward to Wonka. Wonka. And uh, I'm glad I didn't put any money down. Now, um, I guess we'll wait to see it. Like, if you ordered through Sideshow or Big Bad Toys or a more reputable place, you'll probably get your money back. But if you ordered through their website, which was full pay in advance, uh, I think you're just kind of shit out of luck. Do uh, you guys have anything else to say on this? Or yeah, we can they raw dog everyone. everyone. Basically. No yeah, spit. It's pretty much stuff, dude. No spit. Um, Manny, you gave us... Uh, actually, real quick, we'll touch on Katie Camp. She is going to Blitzway. And... Uh, Cock Camp? Uh, uh, oh, that's not dirty. You gotta respect. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who is she? Is she the one who, who works she, for Hot Toys? She used to be the, uh, the premier sculptor for Hot Toys, and now she's a freelance artist, and she's going to Blitzway. Is she that chick that they showed for the Game of Thrones? Yeah, she's doing the Game of Thrones for Blitzway. Nice. So, um, no, she's that's going to be talented. really cool. And uh, that was one thing that Dylan gave us a heads up on, was that uh, Blitzway's doing Game of Thrones, that's, which is cool. That's really funny. I was talking to my cousin, because... Uh, I hadn't seen him in a while, and so he was like, oh my god, like, tell me about the podcast, what do you guys do? And so I was telling him, and he's an artist, he's a freelance artist, he does digital yeah. uh, paintings. Very talented. And dude, very talented. Matt Demino, look him up, um, D-E-M-I-N-O, on uh, uh, DeviantArts, I think he has his own uh, store. But, um, so I was like, yeah, there's a sculptor, K. Kim, he's like, dude, I know who K. Kim is, like, even he knows who she is. Like, the art community is not totally, like, so large that, you know, artists don't know. You just mention somebody by name. Is it K-A? K-A. Yeah, K-A Kim is a what she goes by. Kim. Nice. Uh, I'm sure K and A stand for something, respectively, but there's little periods after them. Her name. But, well, like, that's probably, like... Like something. Jackie Chan, that's not his real name? Probably. But I'm like K might mean like a whole name, but just she just, just is the it to save save the trouble. Yeah. Um, well, but, you go by Manny. I mean Manuel. I go by Ma. Yeah, but it'd be like if he went. I like go by M A M. You know, like when you're the best sculptor in the world, you can go by whatever. You That's what I'm saying. Name like, you dude, yeah. seal. So you know what I'm saying? Artist. Seal is one word, and people <laughs> respect him because he's the goddamn goat. Yeah, like Prince. Or yeah, Madonna. she's K. Yeah, and she's K. K. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, it was just, it was like, oh shit, like even a digital or, artist knows. Or Badlands. Because she's so amazing. Like. Yeah, we'll talk about Badlands later. Uh, but Manny, you had a rate the flicks for the entire Game of Thrones saga. Let's oh, your, I was actually your, surprised at your answer. Let's hear your review and why. I didn't hate it. Uh, if you want to read the whole review, it's rate the flicks. Well, it's for the whole, se the whole series. Yeah, yeah, for uh, one, one through eight. Like, I mean, I love I loved it. Um, As a whole. I'm not going to let... See, yeah, I'm not gonna let season eight, you know, tear into it because the Red Wedding, uh, Battle of the Bastards, like, dude, really there's quick. so many good things. Really quick, sitting here right now. Oh yeah, our Cody, fr yeah. our friend Cody is right in the middle of the I show, just saw that right now. and he texted us. He's like, "Oh my God, Rob Stark," dude, and I was just like, "Oh, this poor guy's in for." Dude, yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah. So the whole the, the whole review is on uh, Rate the Flicks R A T E. Instagram. F O R uh, I'm sorry. F L I X. <laughs> the F L I X. Um, I give it an eight out of ten. As you know, the series, uh, the series as a whole, I didn't hate it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of season eight, but I guess with the second viewing, it'll probably get better because you know where it's going. As every you know, when you watch a movie for the yeah, second yeah. time, you're not as anxious and you're kind of more chill going into it. So I, I think I'll give it a second viewing, uh, one through eight. You know, not now obviously, but. I, I loved it. I, I liked it. Yeah, I think um, I think season eight was just too short. I think yeah. I think two more episodes really would have fleshed out mm -hmm. Danny um, and kind of would have uh, explained why what happened to her happened to her mm -hmm. uh, a little better because it, it felt real forced. Um, but yeah, 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 nine, eight or nine out of ten for me. It's a good yeah. It's a good show. Yeah, it's not perfect. There's definitely like Breaking oh my Bad. god, Breaking Bad's good. Anything with Ramsey, I'm just like, get him off the fucking screen. Like, I yeah. cannot stand that whole yeah, story arc. But it makes Battle of the Bastards so much more satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Like, I understand why it has to be there, but God, I hate that character. Dude, I want to do, I want to do, like, more TV series now, Breaking Bad, The Office. Dude, yeah, I heard uh, Sons of Anarchy is, like, I better than Breaking Bad. Everyone we, always says no, that. No, so I've been watching, I, I was watching uh, Sons of Anarchy, and I got to, like, season four, and it just, I got bored, and I said, uh, I haven't watched it. Every time I tell someone, like, oh, man, I love Breaking Bad, like, dude, Sons of Anarchy. Every single person I mention it to, I probably have to just, like, watch it. Right? Maybe it's just a slow patch that I'm going through, but... Uh, Jesse saw Jesse. 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 Yeah. Uh, he saw John Wick Chapter Three. Oh, I have never oh, seen man. any of them. I plan to visit him. So what did you no think spoilers. about? It? Dude, you have yeah, to watch. Spoilers. I don't know why you haven't seen it. It's so Dude, good. they already announced the fourth one. Yeah, yeah. twenty twenty one. They said the director. The director said we'll keep making them as long as like People we'll keep want. watching. And um, did you fall asleep? No, not a John Wick. Never. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> most people, good. most people, are saying. The third one is the best one. Really? That's what I've Actually, heard. almost everyone that I've yeah, that I've they're saying, seen. and I, it's hard to, I want to say yeah for me too, but I like the second one more. But it was so good to see in the theater with everyone because like anytime anything was happening, it was gas. Like the whole theater was like <gasps> or laughing. It just how felt, was uh, Halle Berry? Oh, dude, I I'm not Halle a huge Berry. fan of Halle Berry. Like I don't get the whole appeal. But then like, after seeing this movie, I was like, I get it. I guess I'm like personally. Yeah, yeah I, I literally had to like. Have you seen Swordfish? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She doesn't very. She doesn't do anything for me. I don't Herman know. says he just got home from watching Chapter Three. Let's ask him what he thought. Yeah, I, uh, it's for me. It's ten out of ten. The series is only getting better and better. And uh, some people were saying like, oh, he's kind of slowing down in this, but it kind of makes sense if you're like looking at it like chronologically and how. Oh, dude, he's probably exhausted. He's exhausted. So like, I and I, they're really good at the details and like the. Uh, Attention to detail and everything like yeah, cuz they're not Are they back to back to back? Like, they're pretty story? much. Yeah, the story okay. it's like within like cuz like Star Wars sometimes it's like a year or two No, later. this is like if not days within weeks of things is happening. Okay. So it makes sense for this guy He's older. He's been out of the game to be kind of slowing down a little bit But yeah. it's just so much fun and Keanu is just a good guy to watch on screen He's just awesome. a good guy in general. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's like a humble good guy. Guy. Yeah, he's like a really down-to-earth dude. He's amazing and uh, I, I enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. I, oh, I think, DJ. Yeah, this movie has DJ? made um, oh, okay. all the money back that it made on the second one, like in its first week. So it's already wow. Wow. It's, it's already over. passing Endgame. That's how good it is. No. My, sister, Avatar. <laughs> my sister texted me yesterday, everyone's favorite, Dean. She's like, we need to go see Endgame again this week. I'm like, why? She's like, I wanted to beat Avatar. I was like, okay. I've had that same video. Like, Avatar. I wanted to be Avatar. I it's not get great. It. I, really I think the hype it. was that it was the first uh, big box office movie that was 3D. Yeah, that's what made it the sales. And so, when we saw it, the tickets were like 3D was, dollars. Yeah, they were really pricey back then. And, and, that's and, why. and every ticket had, t I think, almost. I and think that it was exclusively in 3D. And it was re released <laughs> in theaters. That's how it climbed up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick break and then we will get we into the movie. DC Reporter. I forget. Can I? Can you take a break and I'll? We forgot a movie. What movie? Long shot. Oh, oh long shot. Long, long shot. shot is the one with uh, Charlize Theron and. Uh, oh Seth yeah, Rogen. you love this. Oh okay, yes. Yeah, so tell Dude, us about Long Shot. Yeah, That's the the one where she's running for president, right? Uh, yes. The okay. love story one. I know what you're talking Dude, about. Dude, it is so good. I was my shocked. I saw. I read your thing. I was like. Damn! Um, it really took me by surprise. Sometimes Seth Rogen gets a I little. I adore Seth Rogen. Like the interview to... is honestly. <laughs> Have you seen Hot Ones? One of my favorite films. Have you seen Hot Ones with them? I need to watch it. With check Seth it out. Rogen. I need to check Dude, it out. Dude, so sometimes he gets a little, you know, his laugh like gets to me, but I love his movies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, it's, it's gonna be funny because he's in there. Um, Do that. Yeah. It's a it's a rom com. It's it's amazing. I love her. Like, she's what amazing. was your rating? She was really pretty. Um, I think you said it was an eight out of ten. Yeah, eight or nine out of ten. I was gonna say I think it was higher. Dude, it it was good. It's good. It's I will really say the trailer good. didn't do anything for me, but I mean, there, makes me want to watch I didn't it. even watch the trailer. Charlize Theron does everything. Yeah, I bought the Huntsman movies anything, just for her. Anything she's in, I'm all about. I just Go watch it, dude. Atomic Blonde with her in it. Holy shit, that was a cool movie. I wanted to see that. So it's man, got a, uh, what's his name, uh, McAvoy in it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was a really cool fucking movie. Not bad. Check that out, guys. Tom of Blonde. Yeah. And John Wick. Well, let's take <laughs> a quick break, and then we'll get into uh, the big DC news of the week. Why don't you just, what's like... What's up, Sean? Like, when we get to, like, a, a point where you can stop it, why don't you just... 
instead of saying let's take a break, well, just continue like to do that. She's a South African, by the way. Wait, what do you mean, like? Like the way Dean, like there's a spot in there. I was listening to Dean talk, so he stopped. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cut it, but I need to save it because I I didn't do the setting on the computer, and when we when we record longer than an hour and ten, it doesn't work. So I need to I create a new file. What's going on in the chat? Nothing. People just saying what's up. Marv says, uh, the Halle Berry scene with uh, Keanu alone uh, Don't say anything. I is worth watching. Yeah, no, no, it's, just, it's in the trailer. When they're both just I've never seen the trailer. What? Yeah, well, don't watch it. You don't I mean, you watch it. Well, you never released that. No, I don't know why. <laughs> we did a trailer reaction when that movie dropped, and it's like, don't watch it until you get here. And then we filmed a, a reaction and a discussion, and, and then you never <laughs> I get so busy when I come home from the gym. I just haven't posted the behind the scenes from like episode 31 or whatever. I know. I get home from the gym and I just shower and I go to bed, man. You're a fucking old man. I just shower. Yeah. I turned 30 in a couple months. Can you do me a favor? What's up? Um, before we leave today, can you give me like a good, like, maybe just like a super set workout? Oh, dude. I'm all about it. Just something like. Okay. What are you doing? Are you doing anything that's. Do you want it to be like uh, upper body, lower body, or do you want breakdowns of body parts? Where you God, how do you want to? Because you want to break down the body parts. That way okay. Make it focus. Because me and my sister are trying to go Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. and just something quick like a four day split thing. Okay, that works. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. And we are back. Um, well, yeah, we are. Jesse. 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 Jesse? Manny. Jesse. <laughs> I you're out of breath. Are <laughs> yeah. uh, we recording? Uh, yes. Oh, um, I'm sorry. There oh, is so uh, a new Batman. No, what, it's not the rumors. Rumor, uh, but, but these rumors are nuclear. nuclear. Oh, the yeah. rumors? I thought it was for sure. It's no, for it's sure. Not, I thought it was for sure. It's not confirmed yet. Yeah, I heard they're still doing paperwork. Well, let's hear what you have to say about it. Um, so Robert I'm, Pattinson. I'm, I, I kind of want to wait. He's going to go into like wow, the whole story. Dick, so it's, like, it's like, take it away. But this is what it is. <laughs> well, in case he was going to go into it, but we have people listening <laughs> that might not know. So I kind of, I have reservations big time. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Tons. Yeah. Everything I've seen, I've, I haven't liked. But I want to wait until there's a trailer to make an assessment and then I can hate on it fully. <laughs> did you, did you, why, did you why hate, we did you hate Affleck? as Batman, like when he was announced. Yes. No, I, 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 I saw his chin and I was like, do it. You don't like Robert Pattinson's chin? I don't, I, he doesn't do anything for me. Well, I mean, we're like also- Like he dresses just, good, I guess. We're also used to seeing him like really young. He uh -huh. hasn't really been in anything recently. That's why I want to wait until the trailers to see what they what they do for yeah, me. Yeah, and then he's aged fantastically, you don't know. I think he's so. gotten pretty jacked. I don't know, dude, I, I'm, I'm assuming he has to. Even if, it, even if it is him that, it, you know, he is Batman, like, I'm excited, like, cool. Like, we can't just judge him off of, you know, his Twilight. Right, and that, that's what I was saying in the chat. I was like, dude, he's Christopher Nolan's leading guy in his next yeah, movie. Yeah, he probably has some chops. Like, yeah, Christopher Nolan doesn't pick shit actors. No, yeah. Christopher Nolan's a beast. Like, I think... You got Tom Hardy, and Tom Hardy's like... Dude, I Tom Hardy's adore amazing. Tom Hardy. <laughs> Have you him. ever watched him in interviews? He's like the yeah, moist he's fucking dude. I just yeah. I love it. I'm like, it's like some game shorts that are all moist. What? I love all his movies. Robert Pattinson. Bronson, <laughs> <That's laughs> so everything dream. Tom Hardy makes, yes. Awesome. Uh, uh, that's why I kinda wanna I yeah, like so I'm I don't want like I said, I don't wanna hate it fully, but I wanna kinda see a trailer and then make a judgment. Didn't people laugh at Heath Ledger when he got cast as a Joker? Yeah, they they released he a picture and they were like, What is this? Yeah. yeah. They at least released the picture. Yeah, I think... It was that black and white picture of his face, and people were like... I think people's expectations are always greater than... You follow Boss things. Logic? He yeah. Some, some pictures of And movies. once they see the product, it's like, oh... Even with, like, Joaquin Phoenix as Joker, when they were like... I was like, yeah, that dude can act. But at least then, I was like, yeah, that dude... And then I saw this thing, I was like, I got goosebumps. That's gonna be dope, dude. I think he's gonna be a good Batman. We'll see. We'll see. Good, good. I'm he excited. Could be completely wrong. I mean, not yeah. as good as Michael B. Jordan. But, he, yeah. <laughs> right. He could be. He could be a better Bruce Wayne for sure. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. I'm just curious how they. I know that the universes aren't connected anymore, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like, how's it all gonna fit together? Especially because uh, we still have Wonder Woman making movies, and it's like, 
I think you just yeah. have to abandon the idea of the, the multiverse. You have to but then it just also doesn't make sense now. It's like, okay, but... Does it need to make sense, though? I mean, well, what before Marvel came out, movies were just movies. Like No, but it's like you have Gal Gadot in a movie, but you know that she's already been in one with Batman, so it's like, I heard Batman doesn't show up. You know what I mean? Well, I think you just have to accept it. Because, I mean, at this point, like, Affleck's out. So, right. I, I'm regardless of what plans that they have. He could be like a Dick Grayson. He, I mean, he could be like... Years later or something? Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? I just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until see uh, until there's some footage and then and then just judge it hardcore. Um, yeah. But right now, I'm like, uh, I haven't seen anything that he's done where I'm like, he does say anything for me, so... Huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I learned my lesson with Ben Affleck. Because mm-hmm. when they announced him, I was like, man, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. And he's literally my favorite Batman that I've ever seen. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm just want to, let me see some footage, and then I can judge, because right now it's way too early, we haven't seen anything. I mean, the trailer could blow me away, and I can be like, oh my god, what was I thinking? Twilight's amazing! <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I, I'm with you, I'm with you. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Call me? Yeah. Well, I, I thought you guys were supposed to keep going. I don't yeah. wanna, you guys were calling me out for not, like, not letting everyone have their own um, thing to say. So <laughs> I, I was like, I'm going to let this go. Uh, so, figure arts. Dean, you collect them, I collect them. Uh, I think this might be just a discussion for us. but um, I've had my fair share. What figure arts, three, can you name three characters that you'd like to see them make? Oh, man. While you're thinking, I'll say mine. Uh, Kid Go Ten. Kit Trunks from the Boo Saga, okay. or I guess from Super, Both they have the same outfits. Yeah, yeah. And then my sleeper pick would be a future Gohan from the History of Trunks movie. Oh, no arm? With the one arm? Well, one arm. Well, yeah. yeah. No arms. That would be I weird. I said no arm. arm. <clears throat> well, he has, he has a arm, so he can't have no arm. Wait, But you have what? two arms, so if you have no arm, that means you have one left. But, okay. <laughs> Grammar <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> um, and, and I'm trying to work on a display, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking I want to use a fish tank, because it's just, I mean, it's like a detox, just the doors on the top, yeah. and then some lights. But I'm not sure uh, how some clouds, big to go with. Cotton. Yeah, something like that. Um, and maybe like a backdrop. But the, uh, that was fucking sick. I think that would be cool. I, I know there's some figures I'm trying to track down, so if you have these and you're selling them for a good price, let me know, Zach at Collecting Weekly. Uh, I'm looking for uh, Beerus, uh, Ultimate Gohan and DBZ Super Trunks. Those are the three that I'm trying to track down right now. Um, I got some Super Trunks at, at Walmart. They were we know they all your Trunks are Super Trunks. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be a monster. <laughs> um, <laughs> grinds my gears. Wait, you didn't even let oh, me wow. go. You, 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 I, cool. I tried to bail you out because you were like totally caught flat-footed. Well, you, you said I'll go first. That's what you the think. charm of the show. Um, it should be funny here. Come on, <laughs> come on, Dean. Let's dance or something. <laughs> yeah, kid, kid, go on and kid, uh, or go ten and go ten, go ten and trunks. Kid, go ten and trunks. Although that's just so fucking confusing. A kid, go on from when he's training with Piccolo would be awesome. That would be pretty. When cool. he's got the long with hair. With his Piccolo? Huh? His pickle. His pickle. His pickle. His pickle. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, his little sour tail. Uh, Teen Videl to go with Saiyan Man. Yeah, cool. so that'd be pretty cool. Or Videl in her outfit. Her Videl, Jasmine. What's she called? Pickle. We don't roast Manny segments on he's yeah. oh, talking yeah, about do. the, what was it? The, oh, uh, yeah, the movie from The Long Shot. We didn't roast it. We, we sat there with open ears. Oh, yeah, yeah, open open the I think he's thinking If you need a fresh cut in San Antonio, Leslie cuts hair. He's back in business. The bionic arm has been reassembled. Yeah, but anyway, go on. He has the sword. That's a really cool go on. Yes. Um, go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kind of thinking we need a version one of Frieza. We just got it in the. Uh, you mean a, a stage one or first form? Right? Yeah, first form Frieza would be cool. Or any of the Gimme Force would be great. Or like the yeah. Gorilla one. Oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> He's just guessing. <laughs> um, man, there's so many We're in characters. hostile territory, Dean. Maybe we should have this conversation yeah. in private. It's because, like, you say I don't talk, so I'm like, A lot okay, of our well, listeners... When <laughs> well, when you do talk, it's not great, and then when you talk... Oh, <laughs> wow. You're going to make him... Bro, that, see, that is his arm. That was, was a joke, guys. Jesus, was a joke. Jesus Christ. Jesse. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, those are my picks. Now... That was, like, ten. <laughs> there, there's been a thing, and everyone... 
has been talking about it. Um, I don't want to mention anyone by name because um, that's not what we do. But there's hashtag butt plug gate is a thing. Oh my goodness. And uh, Sideshow has a new featured reviewer who's made three reviews with them. All three reviews have been uh, less than stellar, and, and all three reviews have leaked early, which is kind of odd. Um, when you get to this level of profession, profession um, usually things that aren't supposed to be released are titled Do Not Release, and in this case they were. Mm -hmm. um, all three have been released, which is kind of odd. But the, in, in this one review, which was for John Wick Hot Toys, uh, there was a lint roller front and center holding up a microphone for like the first like eight minutes of the video, and you can see we have our lint roller here. Hell yeah! And now I will say our show production is pretty ghetto. Um, the equipment that we have, <laughs> come on, Spider-Man, the things we do, but we minimize it by hiding the crimes and framing things so that things look as appropriate as they can. Obviously, we're in the kitchen, you know. Yeah. So most people on Instagram angles. Yeah, angles are important. Yeah, like girls knock that shit out. Right. So. To be a featured reviewer for a company like Sideshow, which has you know thousands and thousands of customers, and to have a low level production value where you're using like a fucking lint roller in frame for eight minutes to hold up your microphone, is mind boggling to me. Um, some of the shots in the video, some of the shots in the video were not great. The posing isn't great, and there's just a lot of things that you can say about the video. Now, Zach. King Zachary the Fifth on YouTube from uh, Mint and Silverbox podcast. I love that guy. Put up a review of his review, and uh, Jesse <coughs> Jesse is thinking to do a review of the review of the review. Yeah. And maybe we can keep this going, and we can see how far we can get. But um, I will say that Sideshow's really taking the piss for this this week, and there is a rumor. Um, for me, it's unfounded, but a lot of people are saying that Sideshow is closing people's accounts for criticizing this They're going to close our podcast. Um, RSS fees. And, and so, um, Dean, you had some, some strong thoughts on this, and uh, I'll let everyone go, and then I'll give my thoughts. But the concept that Sideshow would close someone's account uh, for a remark they make on a video. Now, I will say, I haven't seen anyone step forward and say that they know that they themselves have had their account closed. I don't closed. know how they would do that. Well, they just... It's pretty easy. I it's mean, it's freedom of speech. Well, hang on. So no, I mean it is, but you have freedom of speech, but you don't have freedom of consequence. Now, I mean, um, your hair sucks. Yes, you do. That's the whole point of freedom of speech. No, that's not. Yeah. Uh, freedom of speech is a thing, but freedom of consequence. Is... Freedom of consequence is literally freedom of speech. No, it's you're not. allowed to criticize somebody and not go to jail. That's freedom of consequences. Yeah, but that's if you call of... Jesse. An ugly name, he'd beat your ass. Yeah, that's guess your what? He'd go to jail. I wouldn't. Yeah, but you get your ass beat. The, the yeah, thing but is, he's gonna have the consequence. Look, not I'm me. just saying that there, there is consequences for things you say. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I know what you're saying, but I hate it when people say that because it's okay. Me. Regardless, this, this is hair. This is the First Amendment Weekly. I'm just saying that <laughs> Sideshow is a business, and their business yeah. terms of service says they can close anyone's account for any reason. At their own discretion. Okay, so I'm but just saying. I'm just saying. You, what are your thoughts? How do you, on, Richard loves this how do you combo, go from Facebook? By the way, in the chat. How do you go from Facebook? Like, oh my God, this guy's stupid. And then Sideshow's like, let me see what your name is on Facebook. Let me go to Sideshow, figure out your fucking username. That's why I don't use my real name on Facebook. You know how easy that is, though. It's dumb. It's a first name, last name search on their on their. That's why um, I don't use my real name on there. Yeah. What if people would use? My name's Wait, Mark what? Woody. Your real name isn't... Well, it's Jesse, but that's not my last name. Yeah, what? Was... He told us that time ago. Yeah. It's just the name he uses. Oh, I don't remember <laughs> saying that. Yeah. yeah. I said a real, like, that. Okay, anyway, so... Regardless. <laughs> let's, 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 let's like this right now. What's his let's, name? They're, they're like, shit! <laughs> like, they're like, we just kept some dude's name. Okay, so... I'm just saying, my I don't see them taking the time out of their Look, day. I, I get what you're saying, and I agree. I don't think that they would do it, but I'm just saying, let's get back to the point here. I haven't seen anyone step forward and say my account was closed. Okay. I've only seen people say, I know someone whose account was closed. And let's be honest, we've all been on the playground. You all know someone that's done something really cool, but you don't, you, you know what I mean? They're not going to come forward and say it. Right, right. Now, let's just say that they did do this. What is your thoughts on them doing that? So obviously your thought is First Amendment, we have the right of free speech, we're in the best goddamn country 
ever. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so we have that freedom. So let's let's bring that conversation if, back there. If all you're saying is like, man, this guy's an idiot, I think it'd be completely wrong for them to shut down an account. But if you're like, oh, I'm gonna find this guy, strangle him, and murder him and his family, uh, then yeah, they should have absolutely. Yeah, that's different. But having an opinion, <laughs> having an opinion that someone's an idiot shouldn't be grounds to. Have I agree. Account. I yeah. agree. Now I will say, of course, I'm it's obviously in their terms, terms of service that they can, but I don't think that they should. All right, I also don't think that they would just because you don't like somebody. Yeah. I'm not calling this guy an idiot for using a microphone stand that's just a light roller. He's just an idiot, period. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that either. I have no opinions on this guy. Uh, I don't watch his content. I got kicked out of the group, so. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got banned. Oh my god. I, did, I, I put a smart ass remark on someone's thing and I got kicked out. That's how everyone gets kicked out. It's like a rite of passage. Wow. And which group is this? I'm not going to say Okay, it. tell me later. I'll tell you off. Um, Why are you kicked out? What are they going to do to you? Cancel your Mark L? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say the creator is very uh, legal happy, so that's why we're not mentioning names and or groups. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dean, I'm sorry about it. Yeah, I'm just saying like... <laughs> If you have that opinion, it should. That's fucking bullshit. It's yeah, like, but this is 2019. Okay, I, can't, I can't just be a smartass. We're in 2019. Everybody gets offended. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. It's like you know how many times you're off- offended on a daily basis when someone fucking cuts you off in traffic, and all of a sudden they're gonna fucking come after that guy's job. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a bunch of bullshit. It's like, dude. Life sucks, and if you're upset that someone thinks you're an idiot for using a lint roller, like, you're a fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. Manny, do you have anything to say about it? Uh, I mean, it's stupid. Like, even if that was to happen, I'd be pissed. I'd be like... Yeah, I don't know. Cause, you know, know just, oh how do I make lint rollers for you? I like to, uh... I like to offend people. They've always been great. Jesse? Yeah, I, I, like I, to speak my I tagged them on a my IG post game. and everything and with with Zach and he said toy truth and it was just like... Did you? I want to see the cheese man. Yeah, well, it was, like, was trying to stir like, like body. Was, yeah, I was trying to stir. This was like a while ago though, when it first happened, so it's probably not going to be up on the on the story, but... You may have signed your yeah, book. Uh, oh, so key, yeah, Zach, no, no, I didn't do it. I don't do posts too much. Uh, yeah, he was just like toy truth and he was he was talking about like a bunch of just everything that's is it, I, don't, I don't i don't understand all this toy drama like they're like just toys and collectibles and there's just always well, I think, drama i think this guy the fact that i think my issue is like sideshow supporting this guy and this guy has literally tried to tear the community apart he tried to sue his way into being an admin of osr mm-hmm. oh my god man. uh and you know even other groups that we are free that we frequent He's also harassed those admins from other groups, and and he has sneak accounts. To yeah, sne- sneak accounts. It's just, it's uh, yeah, it's wild. But it, <clears throat> in the end, it's about toys, and it's stupid. Yeah, yeah toys are for really. kids. Yeah, definitely. We're being um, kids. Grow up, bro. Or I'll tell the principal on you. Now, Ian has a listener's take on this situation, so let's. I think uh, we've heard enough from Ian. I'm just well, kidding. Let's, let's, uh, let's hear Ian what says it. his name right off the bat. <laughs> let's hear what he has to say. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Let me pull it up. Did you get that? Did you record that bit? No. Oh, man. Was that all song? We're still on that. Oh. <laughs> hey. Listen. Go home. What is that? Crystal <laughs> His vines used to be really funny. Hey. Back when Vine was a You're an idiot. <laughs> hey, your dad died. Or what is he saying? Your he dad died early. He's making those stupid faces. like, hey, <laughs> you absolutely should park there. <laughs> um, let's mention this, but when they, remember, hang on, remember when they tried to shut down oh. customs on Sancho Freaks? Yes. Okay, so this is... Is that um, guy too? No, no, that's unrelated, but I'm just saying. Okay, so let's play... What does that have to do with what we're talking about? That they try to shut down stupid shit that they have no control over. Just plug it on the whole buzz plug gate lint roller thing. Um, I don't give a shit if it's what pisses me off. I just have to say. If you want hot toys, would you, would you want your product showcased like that? I mean, you've got. But you had zero production values. I mean, a microphone <coughs> taped to a fucking lint roller. You're kidding me. Like, oh, it's just so bad. So, so bad. Um, 
you know, I mean, all the videos I've had before, Susan mm -hmm. and all that, spot on, really good. I just don't get why they mm -hmm. do that to showcase a new figure. It just doesn't seem professional, so it's going to take five minutes to do it. It's <laughs> just so bad. Okay, we're going to go back to the Um, just a... It's like... Plug. Right, let's get right <laughs> I forgot to turn on the mic, he's just so mad. <laughs> <laughs> right, three, two. Uh, so Ian had some really good points. I mean, Hot Toys, Hot, to Hot, Toes, Hot Toys is the uh, premier six scale is collectible. Other account. That's my other Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And uh, other for them to have their figure shown in that light is pretty bad. I feel yeah, like it's he, really he sued his way to get that. Well, thing not only because, that, well, but you have people like. Um, just off the top of my head, Shardimus Prime. I mean, he does other stuff, but he's very professional. He has a very... D9 Denobi 2. Nice yeah. setup. Yeah, it's like you have these guys that take their shit real serious. Yeah. And Like, give one of those guys a shot. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so you have this dude whose camera is either too low, or, like, he's not taking the time to frame his shit properly. There's lint rollers. I've never seen anything like that on Shardimus Prime's. And he's doing that basically out of the goodness of his heart. He doesn't get paid like a ton of money to do toy reviews. Yeah. Uh, he has a Patreon, and that's pretty much the only reason why he, he's able we to do, do it. Patreon. Um, so it's like, dude, have someone like that, or uh, um, who's that guy who has a really cool like '80s font? Justin Collectible. Yeah. yeah, Justin. Yeah, that's uh, Mint to Steel Box podcast. Oh, okay, yeah. Their videos are fantastic. Yeah, they're insanely well done. And Actually, it's, it's like... crazy what some of their videos are. Uh, in one of their podcasts, remember when the Mark 50 came out? He was telling me that the footage, it, at least from what I understood, um, there was a guy in Hong Kong who went, I think his name was Ryan, he went mm -hmm. to Secret Base, got the figure, rode a train back for like four hours, got a light box, took all the 4K video of the figure, like posed it and did all the shit with it, sent the video to Justin, Justin re-recorded the audio over the video, and then published that, like, the same day. It was, day. like, pulling, like, like, it was, like, a it's massive insane. Yeah. And another thing I will say is people like Justin or Shardimus, the showcase is the fucking figure, not their fucking face. Or their hands like, or rides about their group. Yeah, it's like, dude, show me the toy, not the lint roller in your... Ugly mode. And then you see like the other collection in the background kind of like showing it off. Yeah, like look at me. Look at what I'm doing. It's yeah. Like, it's not about That's you. That's what it felt like. It's about the product. And uh, Ian's 100% right. Why would Hot Toys want their product showcased in that way? Yeah. It's, it's actually kind of disgusting. Now, uh, Quinn mentioned that um, Sideshow has tried to overreach on things in the past, and I totally forgot about this, but it's something we mentioned in one of the first iterations of Clanking Weekly, when Sideshow shut down Sideshow Freaks custom board, and right. they, they were a sponsor of Sideshow Freaks, and they said, look, uh, any affiliated group or forum is not allowed to have discussions on customs, and that's one of the best resources for customizers. There's thousands and thousands of posts and threads that right. all got nuked overnight, and um, I just, I feel like you're right. Like, they shouldn't do it because we should be free to say it. Although I still think they are they have the ability to based on the terms of service, but I don't think that they should do well, it. Well, not only that, but it, it's like, look, just, but, but just also, this, this really quick example. You bought two Gotenks because you want to do a custom for one. What's to stop someone seeing someone's awesome custom and be like, damn, let me buy a second $200 figure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's true. Now, now like, I will what? say on that point, their their own Facebook group sideshow does not allow customs. Right. And uh, I chromed out the dome of that archer for Manny and for Christmas and for Eric, and I posted on their page. I got deleted. I posted a Deadpool with a Darth Vader dome, and it got deleted. And I asked them why, and they said, "Well, there's licensing laws that prevent us from having customs on our page." And I guess if that's their reasoning, that's fine, even though it's fucking stupid because R2 is Chrome in the movie. Um, and I was thinking, okay, maybe Star Wars and Marvel, there's some conflicting stuff there. And then they have admins that constantly post pictures of their baby Groot yeah. in clothing. And it's like, okay, so... The admins can get away with it. But the normal people can't. But additionally, Sideshow says on their group and on, on their, their terms are like, if you're a creator, we don't want you posting on our page. So I would post the Collecting Weeklies on their page and I got muted for doing that. 
and they're like, we don't want people advertising their own brand. This is a group. Nightmare on that. Yeah, right. right. So like, this is a group for everyone to enjoy collectibles, not to be influenced by a group or a creator's channel. Yet, on their featured reviewers thing, they mention their group and their affiliate links. Yeah, the rules are different when you're yeah, in charge. Yeah, when you're in charge. Yeah, so a bunch of bullshit. Because I saw a bunch of you calling them out. They, hey, you deleted my post, but your admin's over here posting this. I mean, that's not going to delete it. Yeah, so... And most people would get fucking shut down. I guess we'll find out if it's true if my account gets shut down this week. Um, but that's... Uh, what that would you do that dude? now? Tomorrow. Tonight gets shut down, you don't get your Iron Man. Save 400 bucks. I got the Mark III. I had the best Iron Man there is, so... Mm. I mean... The most iconic Iron Man is Mark III. I'm mm. sorry, but... The Iron Man that started it all? Mm. Mark I will say, yeah. I will say you are correct. I think in... In terms of suit design, I think Mark IV is cooler. Yeah, but the Mark I, I will I will but agree Mark with you there because it has the the, looks very similar the to Mark III, but it's I will agree with the you Mark there. But I will say that it doesn't the Mark it. III exactly it flies out of the thing. So I, I will cede that point to you. Um, but if they cancel my account tomorrow, then I mean I'll have saved four hundred bucks and I can buy the figures. I'm gonna check that out by the way. Yeah. Uh, so grinds my gears now there was a post and i'm not going to say names and i'm not going to give a lot of context guys just email this, me later and i'll tell you this post <laughs> was so fucking crazy was this the one today yes i have never seen anything like this now <laughs> grinds my gears uh, to summarize is people that don't put prices on their for sale items now i'm in a bunch of new figure arts groups uh, to buy figure arts obviously and um People there, a lot of people there are not posting prices like, oh, these are for sale, shoot me an offer. I, I can't stand the shoot me an offer people because if you shoot them an offer that's lower than what they were expecting, they either ignore you or they get call you out or they get offended. Yeah, it's like, look, this figure on Mercari sold you know, a week ago for this price. This is why I'm making that offer. Like, what are you asking? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and throw numbers at you all. They just tell me what you want and I'll tell you if it's acceptable. Now, there was a post and uh, again, I'll be vague, but this guy basically said, I'm not feeling well today. I'm selling all these figures. Help me out with prices or I can trade them. And it's like, you know, there was like eight figures. And let's just say each figure is $200. That's $1,600 that you stand to make from this one post. If I don't care how unwell you're feeling. If you can't research eight figure prices to make $1,600, probably three minutes of your not time. Not only that, but... <clears throat> How to word it? It's like you obviously want top dollar. Clearly, because you're not like, hey, here's some figures. I don't. I'm just selling for one fifty each. Right. right, or you know, retail. Put retail on there. Yeah. Something like I'm just I'm in a bad spot. And, and the way money. that they worded it was like, I'm looking to sell them, so I need to get the prices. But well, clearly, it's a sales post because people are saying PM sent or the, the biggest. I'm the, this one send me a PM. The, my biggest grinds my gears with this particular post was. I wouldn't normally do this. But do I've it. seen this person's other posts and they don't ever price their shit. Yeah, it's like, don't say you wouldn't normally do it. Just just do yeah, it. Yeah, and I will say bonus grinds in my gears, people on eBay, that if you offer them like a dollar less or two dollars less than their item, they're asking they decline it automatically. And they, like the only offer they'll accept is like the price that they want. Yeah, it's like, why didn't you Because you had that issue, remember? One guy actually said he wanted more than what he Yeah, was. he came back with more. And I was like... Why do you have the offer button on there if I can't offer you less? That's the whole point. Yeah, and it's like there's, there's people on here with, with, it's less than what you're asking. Yeah. For the neck of canes, like people have them for like twenty seven bucks. I'm like twenty five. They're like twenty seven. I'm like no, yeah. So why do you have it on there? Which is a huge pro tip, by the way, on eBay. Um, if someone has an auction that hasn't had a bid they can set an option for someone to make them an offer. If there's bidding already, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Or if there's a buy it now, they can put a make offer button. And I would say most people are pretty good about it. Like I got the uh, Dragon Ball Super Part 2 DVD, the one with Frieza, yeah. uh, for $3 less than the guy was asking. He was asking 24 and offered him 21. So three bucks, I mean, it's not a ton of money, but you know, over time that adds up to a figure arts, you know? Yeah. And uh, usually I make offers when I can. Um, Oh, Respectfully, my, of course. My best luck is through Mercari. I fucking I've had zero luck with Mercari. I adore that app. I need to get in, in on this app. But uh, anyway, so that's my grinds, my gears. you guys have anything you want to add to this? No. <sighs> and and let, let me say hard. this. Let me say this. If you're selling an item and you want to know what a good price is, go to eBay, type in the item, click the filter, go to sold listings, and then you can see the last 
I think it's like three months worth of sold listings of that item. Yeah, just see what it's And just take an average of the last five. Now, keep in mind, eBay is Takes minus 13% fees, 10% from eBay, 3% from PayPal. So you can use that as a rough estimate to get an idea of your pricing. Granted, of course, figures go rise and fall. That's actually what um, happened um, when I got my last graph figure, the pharmacy Evan showed in my team. Um, uh, he popped up much. on Mercari for 275 and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Obviously, I don't want to pay 275 but that's the cheapest I've seen it. Let me just make an offer. Yeah. So I made an offer at 250 and I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting. Nothing's popped up. I just happened to check my Facebook, and the exact same guy was selling it on Facebook for 250 Yeah. So I sent him a DM. I was like, hey, dude, I just saw your thing on Mercari. I offered you 250 I was like, let me just pay you through PayPal to climb my offer on Mercari so they don't get a cut and call it square. And he's like, done. Yeah, I've done that with a few eBay users. Now, eBay does monitor uh, conversations. You have to be kind of sly about it. Well, this was through Mercari, and oh, I just okay, messaged okay. him on Facebook. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, they don't... Yeah, they the, don't the, do the, there's a parts guy on eBay that I just sent him an email. But I was, like, I was like, I'm not going to send you any money until you decline that offer, because if I send him the money on yeah. PayPal, then he accepts the offer, they automatically... Now, that's the thing it. with eBay is you, you set the duration of your offers. You, it's like one, two, three, four days. Um, obviously set it to less because you know you don't want to be waiting around for three days while someone mulls over your offer and you're missing out on other items right. that you could buy. Um, so that's that's uh, my pro tip for that. Um, Jesse, did you have anything you wanted to add for the last few episodes? I know you haven't been here and I know we did some big discussions. Yeah, so we got some new co-hosts. That's all that. That was awesome. Yeah. I love the, uh, the Seth story and the Seth group. Uh, that was having so much fun laughing and just, I went to look at the group and I was like, just laughing at that. Um, but overall, I mean, pretty much those were the memorable stuff like that I remember. I was trying to listen this morning and I just kept laughing at the Seth group thing. Yeah. So shout out to, to Seth. Yeah, we have shirts. Do you like the new knighting ceremony? Yeah, with the, uh, the scepter. With the scepter and. Uh, and by the way, what do you think about it? It's right here in front of you. The scepter. This is the first time you guys have seen it. Here it is. Hey. That's cool. Looks like my This is board. the uh, cane. Right? It does look kind of like bone. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the paint job. That's, that's what the look is going for. But initially, it just looked like garbage. Yeah. <coughs> so upside down on the bone. You have not even centered. Is that a real bug? Yeah, it's a real bug. You know, I wouldn't care that it's not centered. Just because you know, it wouldn't be in real life, you know, it'd be all fucking. Yeah. But yeah, upside down is unacceptable. <coughs> it's like, dude, shave this down. But, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Jesse? No, that is it. That's it for me. Now, um, we're towards the end of the show here, and uh, outside of collecting, although this is somewhat relevant, uh, I guess Sideshow, uh, we goof, we gaff, we laughed at their expense. And Seth, in particular, brought up the story of the hand. And uh, they um, changed the hand with the Jon Snow pre-order. They changed the hand. It is a real human hand. I couldn't reverse image search it. Must have been one of their hands. Uh, and I will say that is fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to say anything about? It? I think it's funny that we goofed on them, and, and everyone was goofing on them. And we released the PNG, and a lot of people were using it for a lot of edits, and they changed it. Yeah, I think we're. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we're on their radar. Making waves. If we are on their radar, we're fucked. 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 we uh, Facebook Collecting Weekly Auxiliary, oh, yeah, T yeah. Public by searching Collecting Weekly. Our YouTube channel is Collecting Weekly. Manny, what's the order? Uh, collecting W L K Y. <coughs> uh, we also are doing a crossover with Six Scale Scavengers. That's going to be in June. Uh, Dean, Manny, and myself are going to be on there with Brian and Chris. And yeah, Max. I asked about Justin. They're like, fuck that guy. <laughs> they would never say something. So <laughs> no, they, no, but if we had all eight of our hosts with all, it would be a, yeah, it would be a lot. A mess. Um, we also uh, really cool, Dean. I found my old hard drive, 
and I found the first five episodes of the inaugural 2017 run of Collective Weekly. Nice. So they're like 18 minutes long, and what I'm going to do is um, very loosely merge them into one. I'm just going to like put them all back to back. Yeah. That'll be a, a bonus track released uh, sometime this year, uh, in June, uh, or even May. Uh, shout outs time. Uh, Six Scale Scavengers, Brian and Chris, they're really cool guys. Uh, we really look forward to having our conversation with them. They run a podcast uh, that is about hot toys and the Star Wars and Marvel collecting, so they're really cool. Uh, really good show. I want to give a shout out to Richard Dow. He is a new member to Auxiliary, and uh, a long time ago we were looking for our New Jersey listener, and um, he is that listener. And I will say this. What a fantastic guy. Send me a really nice message about the show. I forward it to you guys. I won't read it. Real quick. Um, I just sent you guys invites from Akari. <coughs> you get 10 bucks and I get 10 bucks when you make your first purchase. Okay. We'll do that off the show. I don't um, understand. But anyway, so Richard, uh, you said some really kind words to us, and uh, I really appreciated it. You know, there's times where, um, you know, I think we're, we're far enough from that episode where we can talk about it. Um, but episode 25 in particular, that episode broke me. Um, that was the episode Manny where we went to your house and um, the setup there was a little different than we were used to and the microphone we had in the wrong pattern and it was kind of a late night. Got home and we realized that the audio was almost unusable and uh, Jesse rode with me and on the way back to my house I was telling him like dude like I honestly don't even want to do the show anymore like 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 this audio is shit like we just spent like two hours recording it's almost unusable we can't like I'm not going to read up all bad. my lyrics, like, like or not lyrics, but I'm going to read up all my vocals. Um, and he loves listening to himself talk. That's yeah, you guys keeps know. Going. I fucking love the sound of my voice. God damn. And so, right, me and Jesse are adding to his throats today. Um, it's fun. I haven't, I haven't been I back, just, so I kind of... I just don't... Jesse's not all this, that kind of guy. Yeah. So I, 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 and like so, it. you know, there, there's been a few times down the road where I'm just like, do we even... Should we even be making this show? Should we be creating this podcast? Right. But... Uh, you know, Dylan in the past has sent us some really nice messages, and Richard, and, and we get those messages here and again, you know, people giving us praise, and uh, the message from Richard was very heartfelt, and uh, it's funny because um, he, he, he was in Ox, and I was like, oh, that's cool, and I had him as a friend, he's like, hey, I feel like I already know you, and I'm like, wow, it's true, like, you you probably know more about me than a lot of people that I know in real life, right? you know, because we're here every week, and uh you know, just shout out to Richard. The message he sent us was so nice, and yeah. you know, just the words he was saying just really kind of gave a us guy. a boost. What if he's in the chat right probably now? Probably so. the most Isn't handsome he? guy yeah. nice. I've ever seen on on Ox. I gotta say, he's Dude, a good looking cat. They said the second biggest penis next to me. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting your information from. <laughs> they say um, I like this dig. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, SNA underscore toys dude. on Instagram. Zach Williams. He is yeah. a co-host of Nerd Theory Podcast. That dude makes some fucking fantastic photos. Oh, yeah. And uh, he he showed my page some love and I reciprocated. But that guy's a fucking dude, good. Like, that guy's a good uh, toy photographer. photographer. How about just a guy in general? Uh, Anthony Moore, M O R E shots. Uh, he's kind of like my guru for toy photography. I've been really getting into it lately with this Go Tanks and a few other figures. Uh, it's really fun. I, I don't know why I've never tried it before. Uh, Badlands Chugs. Uh, we tagged <laughs> oh, him last yeah, week. This is kind of cool. And Manny, what happened? He at me, bro. He added you on my post. It was he liked the post. He added you. And uh, what a guy. Added or added? He like at, he like added. Him? No, no, like he, oh. he like mentioned, I guess. Okay. He knows about me. You're on his radar. He thinks about me when he chugs now. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one, one day, Manny? one day, Manny, we have to do a chug off. We have to chug like a Let's water bottle. Oh, I get out chug off. No, I bring so. it. Bring some drinks next week. We'll do a chug off in honor of Badlands Chugs. Okay. Um, He's up in the Mountain Dews. Mountain no. Dew? He does Mountain Dews. Don't get him cold. I don't want to get brain. No, that's that's. No. You got to do it. Okay, so you Seth, think he cuts corners. Seth, you think badly chuds cuts corners. He's a professional. Okay, he's the peak of human performance. Okay. <laughs> uh, Seth had Jesse and I. It was supposed to be all of us, but you guys bailed. I had um, word. No, I it's my it. first day back, and no, I, don't I, I had swine. I don't want to hear it. Um, he had a barbecue at his house for us. It was really nice. Uh, all the, the uh, family was there. Dude, I want to go so bad. Holy shit. You never shit, been to his house? No, dude. every time like we plan something, like I always have to bail. work. You guys um, do shit on Sundays. It's like I work on It's Sundays. really dope. It's a really dope Do house. shit on Saturdays. 
Um, that Jesse, was what was your thoughts on the peanut butter hot dogs? I fucking took some home, man. I love them. They're not bad. <laughs> they're they're really, really good. I took some home. That's surprising coming from you because you're such a yeah. Well, dude, Jesse was picking out. I dude, like, I, I picked out. So, I felt so I picked out. Because oh sometimes I hang out with Jesse, and it's like he comes to my house, fucking brings his uh, <laughs> what is that Chipotle, and it's like all healthy. It's like there's no it's tortillas. It's white rice, like, lettuce, and chicken. Yeah, I'm like, dude, it's fucking, I'm over here eating like. Puffy Cheetos and drinking soda, and Jesse is sitting there with his fucking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my eighth bean burrito from Taco Bell. I was, I went ham on <laughs> the dips and the chips, and, and then like, the burgers wild. were good. Now, shout um, out, Chef Bro. One, one shout more out. shout out. I think this is the most important. <clears throat> I'm gonna give a shout out to Dean's mom. She is an angel. Is what happened? I don't know. She follows me on Instagram. No, she, she likes all my posts. She's pretty and amazing. I will say, obviously, wonderful human being, but to be so amazing. And then to give birth to two of the most beautiful angels that God has ever put on this planet. That's earth. true. Like, I mean, you, you and obviously your that. other sister Lisa is also fantastic. Yeah. Um, she, she, yeah, she plays the. Yeah. Show. So shout For out my to my nephew who's also a Seth. Oh, shout out. Maybe you can join the Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Seth. Uh, but you know, yeah, I gotta give a shout yeah. to your mom because she likes all my posts and it's yeah. awesome. So She's maybe once you go to Plug and Weekly shirt, because she does the outfits oh, of the yeah. day she, for her her Instagram, maybe oh, she can do Plug and Weekly shirt. Dude, okay, real funny story. She got an Instagram, like, I don't know, two years ago, uh-huh. and she had, like, 10 or, like, 11 followers. In fact, I'm going to pull it up right now, and I, I have, like, somewhere around um, 700. Mm-hmm. At the time, I had, like, 400 or something, and she was like, oh, my God, like, I can't imagine having that many followers. Um... Like, I hope one day I can get up that high. Uh-huh. Now she has almost 2,000. Gosh, oh, damn. Dude, she <laughs> shot up like crazy. Because, you know, she does the outfits of the day. She has, yeah. like, her little, like, group chat with, like, all the ladies that do, like, their outfits. Oh, that's and cool. That's dope. It's super funny because, like, I was like, oh, like, you'll get there one day. Because you don't think of your, like, parents as, like, social media gurus or whatever. But I was like, damn. Shout out your mom's Instagram? Yeah, oh yeah, a day in the life of Gabby. What like, a wonderful human being. She was trying to figure out a cool name, and I was like, dude, yo, Gabby, Gabby. And she was like, no, it's stupid. <laughs> so yeah, a day in the life of Gabby, no spaces. Uh, she just does little outfits that she wears and takes what pictures of her house, person. which is yeah. insane. Do you have any shout outs you guys want to give? Uh, I just shouted out my mom, so. I just followed her. Oh, cool. Uh, Manuel? Um. <clears throat> Shout out Ian. Yeah, dude, shout out Ian. And then. Oh, actually, shout, shout out Seth. Dylan. We miss Seth. We miss Dylan. Yeah, we miss. Yeah, I um, actually really, really enjoy Dylan. I give him a hard time in the chat, and I'm like, I don't know if he knows. This I'm an asshole, but like to be funny. <laughs> so it's like, I started a poll, it's like a poll to remove Dylan from, from the host chat. list. <laughs> and like, no one liked it, and like, he saw it, and I was like, God, I'm kidding, guys. It was so funny. <laughs> so shout out Dylan, he's a good sport. So shout out Seth, Ian, uh, shout out Rainer. All right, Rainer. Uh, he's gonna come tonight, but he has some stuff coming up. So he's coming to he was like, the show. He was like, I want to play uh, with my guild. I'm like, who are you, Joe? Nobody laughed. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> we have fun. Here. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for uh, the crossover episode recording very soon. The retro episode and the Stevens oh, collectibles. Uh, we're gonna have we haven't announced it yet. We'll keep oh, it in our right. back pocket. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. I'm Zach. I'm Dean. I'm Manuel. And I'm Jesse. 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 Have a good one. Bye. Peace out. That was a good episode. Absolutely. <laughs> I actually had a pretty those decent discussions today. They were like heated almost, or like no, it was like not so heated at each like, other, but heated like, like passion. It's passion. There's there was passion going on. Uh, Jesse, you dude, can keep the live stream going for a few minutes, but cut off the uh, camera. For okay. Get the red button. The uh, what's dude, the chat going on? It's like we have like six people. That's that's wow. Okay. What's the chat saying? Uh, it just uh, after. Uh, I think my mom watches the live streams too. Richard said, so has, like, uh, "Thanks for the kind words, guys. Steel. Your format is uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, gives enjoyment to a lot of folks. Keep it up." What? Chad is dumb still with Hegemon. Who's that? Is that your sister? Said, yo, 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 I wasn't offended. Don't worry. Dean's the real MVP. Is that Zach?